Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. So today it's Sunday, so I'm gonna go in Chandelar again. And I come and join me, you know, for the next 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We'll see how far we can get. And I believe we are very close to a dungeon. So we're going on a dungeon run today. Really looking forward to that. Uh, let's have a look. What do I have? 60 cards in the deck. It's looking good, right? I got four time walks in my deck. That should be enough to win everything. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just go for it. There's no real need to buy anything or... It's looking good. I don't have a lot of money, though. Look at that. Very low on cash. We're going to leave the village. And I'm just going to go straight. Okay, let's go. Let's grab this here. Nice swamp. And we're going to go in the dungeon. Mount of the Warrior Kings. Let's go for it. Let's do the question. Which of these spells requires one red and three colorless mana to cast? The mana barbs, the goblin polka bent, the giant strength, the caveman, or the red mana battery? Well, red mana battery is an artifact. Cave people is two red and one. Giant strength is two red. Goblin polka bent, I'm not sure. Was it two red as well? It's a one one. So I think mana barbs. Yay! Ooh, more of these enemies. I just don't want to take a lot of risks here. You know, one if you lose, you get kicked out of the dungeon. Uh, but also then the dungeon is gone. So it's not coming back. Okay, so we've got some dice there. We've got some dragons there. Hmm. Oh my, look at that. Um, You know what? I'm just going to go straight up. Did not expect... Ooh, a hippie is almost a sure win, though. I could... Battle against him and see if I can orc go here. Could there be some? Ah, oh, I don't know. I think this area here, I think there's nothing there. It's just going to be connected here. Um, there's maybe something here. There could be something here. So, you know what? I'm going to go here. I'm going to go against uh, the Dragur. Look at the amount of life these guys have. But remember, I'm starting with Hypnotic Spectre, so I should be fine. Uh, what do I have? I've got an underground sea and a strip mine. Dark Ritual, and another Hypnotic Spectre. Wow, so I could have double Hippie? Of course I'm going to do that. Let's go Dark Ritual into the second Hypnotic Spectre. That's insane. Attack with the other one that I got. I mean, this is great. I can attack him for four next turn. Okay, make that two, but still it's really good. Let's do that. Go, people. And you know what? I'm going to strip mine him. I want to slow him down. I'm going to take away the mountain. Okay, he does have another one that's a bit of a bomber, but still I've kind of slowed him down here. Tempo game. Attacking again. Putting him on 16. He's going to lose another card. Mm, going to play out the factory here. Let's put it there, and I can attack with it next turn. Deal 4. I'm not going to play the contract yet. You know, I like to keep my options open. There's no need to. Next turn I can play the Phantasmal Forces, which is really a badass card. I have to say these games are a lot easier when you're starting with Hypnotic Spectre in play. Okay, so I'm going to go Phantasmal Forces. Attack here. So I could put my unstable mutation on the forces next turn, making it a 7-4. Oh, that's sweet. Why don't... Whenever I'm playing these, this game, I'm thinking, I want to make a deck with... And in this case, I'm like, I want to make a deck with Phantasmal Forces and Unstable Mutation. If you've ever done that, let me know in the comments. I got to pay, of course, the upkeep cost. Yeah, I want to pay the cost. One blue. Yes, please. Oh, it's got Mana Flare. Okay, I kind of missed that. And I could have used the mana to animate the factory. Um, What is Wisdom? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go for it. And now I'm going to use that extra mana to change the Assembly Worker. Assembly Worker is great against Mana Burn, by the way. Because you can activate the Assembly Worker as often as you want to. So it's really handy. For example, if you're playing a format like Eternal Central, Central or Atlantic Old School... Yes, the Suchi is not as good, but because you always play Suchi with Factory, you know, you've got that outlet, that mana sink, I should say. So 
That kind of works. Anyway, attacking for 11. He should be dead. Hey, okay, that was good. Let's take a left. Vampire bats. I can continue. Some extra life. Hmm, I think this is all connect. This is going nowhere. So I'm gonna go and go here. More life. Ooh, a Sengir Vampire. That's really good. Let's go for it. So far, I'm liking this dungeon. I get a Hypnotic Spectre. Now I'm getting a Sengir. I mean, life is good. Let's see what I've got. Dark Ritual, Underground Sea, Island, Island, Contact from Below, Control Magic, Mahamoti. Sweet, Papa Moti. Not going to play anything out yet. I'm going to try to get the Moti out as early as I can. That's my strategy for now. While attacking with the Sengir. Let's go Island. Let's just attack. And of course he's going to attack me. Put me on 15. I mean he's on 8. Ooh, Goblin Pol Polka Band. That could be annoying. So the Polka Band taps creatures at random, right? Two tap, pay one for each target, tap any number of creatures at random. Okay. Um, I could go Dark Ritual Ghost Ship or something, or play Control Magic, but I think I'm just going to attack for four. And then next turn, I'm going to play the Papa Modi. That's my plan. Ooh, that's a tough, this. Dropping to nine. You know what? Let's just attack, see if I can win it here. Okay, and let's get the treasure. Oh, Brain Geyser, nice. I don't have a Brain Geyser yet, and I can play it in my deck. That is really good. Ooh, and I'm getting a Sengir. Another treasure. But remember, I'm getting that Sengir, so I don't want to fully go for the treasure yet. I I think, oh, this is tough. I think I'm gonna, there's some opening here too. So maybe there's a treasure here. So I think I'm gonna duel this Dragu. Oh no, I'm losing the Sengir. There was a dice. That's so annoying with this game that sometimes you don't see the dice. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna get the other chest first before I duel anything. Hey, I get a Sengir again. What is the total casting cost of Cursed Land? Oh, was it three mana or four mana? It's an enchant land. It deals one damage during the upkeep's controller of the land. I think it's four. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay. You know why I knew it was four mana? Because I've been thinking about playing with this and like an, an Underworld Dreams deck with four mazes of AF, warp artifact, cursed land. But every time I feel that cursed land is too expensive, so I end up not doing it. Finding a lots of gold and jewels. That's sweet. Um, I got a Sengir to start with, right? So why not go with the old plan and duel this dragon here and see if there's anything behind him. Another Dragu. Hey, I get to start. Okay, guys, so far it's going really well. Let's uh, knock on wood. Ooh, look at this opening hand though. That's not great. One island, Vampire Bats, Contra from Below, Drain Life, Hypnotic Spectre, two Tims and an island. Hmm. That is not ideal. I really need a black... Well, like one black source can make such a difference because that gives me access to the contract from below. You know what? I'm just going to take care of this forest. I just really want to slow my opponent down here. I wonder if those vampire bats are actually good in this deck. Maybe I should take them out. Anyway, let's go for unstable. Let's put all my eggs in one basket since I don't have any lands anyway. Let's just attack. Putting them on seven. Um, but I need two more swings because of the minus one, minus one. There we go. Um, let's just attack, put him on one. Let's do it. That should be it. Life is so much simpler if you start with all these bonuses. Uh, it looks like 
the dungeon's kind of empty, right? I mean, there's a passageway here. This is just going to connect this. This is going to connect this, I think. Let's do the question first. What is the total casting cost of Chaos Lace? Isn't that just one? Yeah. I remember buying packs of Revised and like those were the worst rares to get. You're like, oh man. And of course you always wanted to have a big creature. You didn't even want to have like a dual land. Dual lands were like, when I started playing Magic, they were like $5 for dual land. Can you imagine that now? Okay, let's do another question. Why not? Uh, which of these spells has a power of one? Cosmic Horror? Goblin Rock Sled? The Timmy. Yeah, of course the Timmy. It's a 1-1. One, one. Let's see. Cosmic Horror is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Goblin Rock Sled. Love the name. <laughs> is a 3-1. Angry Mob is asterisk asterisk, depending on the amount of... Or it's a 2-2, two, two, and then it gets bonus, depending on the amount of swamps your opponent controls. War Mammoth is a 3-3 Trampler. So yeah, Tim, of course. That's the Timmy. Um, okay, get some more life. Disconnects with this. Let's let's just get the last dice. Hey, I got a Tim. Okay, I want to play with the Tim in play. I'm just gonna attack this dude here. Is that the troll? Probably there's nothing, but who knows? The troll shaman. Okay. Start to duel. Oh man, I can lose a time walk here? Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Maybe I should have just built, but. Ooh, shall I do unst Yeah, let's do unstable. Let's go super aggro. If he would have had a lightning bolt, that would have been a huge problem for me, but. Gotta live dangerously, people. Attacking for four, put him on eight. Gonna take a counter. What else can I do? Um, swing in. Let's put him on five. There we go. Next turn, I can play another Tim. Three mountains. Oh, yeah. There we go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if he wants to trade. Let's see if he wants to trade. No, he doesn't want to trade. Okay. Okay, bad boy. Uh, oh, wait. I can already win. I've got Sayani Blast. Hey, there we go. Nope. Nothing there. So I'm going to leave. Leaving on a jet plane. So I am going to leave the dungeon. But I'm feeling good. Trade black amulets for any creatures. I only have two black amulets, though. Um, Will of the Wisp. It's such a cool creature. Let's buy it. I think maybe a Willow in my deck is better than a Vampire Bats. Feel free to disagree with me, by the way. But I think in, in this situation... Okay, we want to have the Brain Geyser in there. I feel like I kind of need to reassess my deck. Maybe, ooh, I got a Royal Assassin. Why am I not playing with the Royal Assassin if I have a Royal Assassin? That's so weird. Uh, Where's my Willow? Willow the Wisp. I've got two Willows. Okay, let's do the Willows. Let's take out the Vampire Vets. Zephyr Falcon, three Tims, Phantasmal Forces, the Mam Moti. Um, let's look critically at the creatures. I feel like maybe I missed, no, I didn't miss anything here. Okay, let's look at the black creatures. Is there a black creature I really should play? Lord of the Pit, now that is sweet. I should play Lord of the Pit. That is killer. I need to play Lord of the Pit. Uh, I'm gonna play you, man. I'm gonna play you. Uh, let's see, I could take out the Unstable, even though it's been really good whenever I drew it. I've used it all the time. I wonder if counter magic is as good in this format. Um, hmm. How many are, of these are in there? Now there are two. Okay, I think two is two is a good number. The drain life I can take out. Although drain life and dark ritual is really nice. Hmm. Okay. 
it is difficult, right? What to take out, what to keep in. Uh, let's see, how many lands we have? 18, 20, 22, I've got 24 lands. I think that's good. I need to keep that count of 24. Only if two have not expectors. That's kind of interesting. Um, Brain Geyser is really good. We want to keep that in. Infantasmal Forces, I guess I could take out. It's a beautiful card, but it's quite vulnerable. Am I working on any other decks? Oh yeah, my Reanimator project is still there. And then I've got a deck three that I'm doing nothing with. Got a lot of green cards. Very bad green cards, by the way. Maybe I need to consider selling those. Got some white cards. Hmm. 10 food for 25 gold. Okay, so this is the place to sell stuff. What should I go for? Let's see, what color do I want to keep or not? I mean, do I want to keep green? I could just I could just sell everything in green. What's up with white? I mean, white white such a good color in this game. Ah. Okay, red. I guess red is the color that I want nothing to do with. I guess. Uh, let's have a look. Carnivorous plant. I could sell. I'm not really gonna use. Um, marsh viper. I could sell. Although I'd love to make a poison deck. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, the rest of these I want to keep. Let's see, white. Is there anything that I think I can sell? Ooh, alabaster potion, 200, yes. Yeah. Ooh, I got pretty good cards in white. Wow. That surprises me. I've got like two moats. Uh, maybe I should do some. You know what? I'm going to think about that later. Let's let's check out the map. Where, where are we at? We're here. Um... What do we want to do? Let's go to Unicorn's Hold and kind of walk around, play against some opponents. I must duel the Necromancer, the evil black wizards. Whatever, man. Start to duel. Sengir, Sengir, Sionibus, Island, Country from Below, Brain Guys, you're a hippie. Wow, this is bad. I really need a swamp and, um, yeah, at least one swamp. Evil Presence. Well, thank you for giving me the swamp. That's actually useful. Um, shall I already do... I mean, if I get one more land, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait with the contract from below. Maybe next turn I'll draw into a swamp and I can play Hypnotic Spectre. Uh-oh. Scape Zombies. You know what? Let's contract. Okay, I can do island. I'm gonna do time walk. Gonna do it. Let's do island. I mean, I can control magic the scape zombies. Ah, do I want? Is that the thing that I want to do in life? You know what? I think it is, and I'll I'll ex I'll explain why later. I'm just gonna first control it. I'll explain later. Could have also done dark ritual Sengir. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> this is not good. Oh, so my reasoning was he's probably gonna play out like a zombie master, and then my scape zombies is unblockable for him. Um, yeah, that kind of backfired. That was funny. Uh, let's go. I could go Dark Ritual Drain Life, right? Does that work? No, that doesn't doesn't work. Um, let's do Dark Ritual into Sengir Vampire. That's that. Let's pass the turn. Oh, that was funny. I didn't see that anime dead coming at all. Oh, this is, this is quite good, this Willow. This is, I like it. Okay, let's attack. I'm just gonna play the Willow. And I'm gonna keep counter magic open. Uh, 
Bum, 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 bum. A Bork Wrath. Yeah, we definitely want to counter that. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, let's attack. Let's go for it. See what he does. Okay. Um, play the hippie. Why not? Ooh, he's attacking. Ah, oh, that's because, of course, I cannot regenerate. Okay, you know what? Take the take the three. I'm fine. I mean, now I can attack with my army. That's ideal. Hit him for eight, boys. Ooh, you see, he doesn't want to play out the zombie master because I've got the zombie. Oh, I've got the zombie. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. I love zombie decks, by the way. I've got a zombie disco deck on the channel, which is really sweet. Ooh, this is a bit problematic. Five, five. Um, let's see, he's on eight. I can drain him for three, put him on five. If I attack with everything, not gonna kill him. So I'm gonna pass the turn and maybe next turn, I'm gonna attack him with everything. If I animate the factory next turn. Ooh, drain life. That is, that, that is annoying. Strip mine. Strip the land away. I'm just gonna, I just gotta hope for like a dark ritual. I think if I can find a dark ritual, yeah, then I've got enough to drain the Sengir. Another Scape Zombies. Another piece of art I don't know, I'm not familiar with. I actually like this art a little bit. It's cool. Hey, another swamp. Okay, does that help me? I've got one, two, four, five swamps, so I can drain for four. So that's not gonna help me at the moment. I mean, I could attack with the hippie, and then if he blocks, I can drain it. Because I think the trigger is at the end of turn. But you know what? I'm just going to be patient. I think patience is better in this case. Ooh, zombie master. Yeah, I kind of could have seen this coming, so it's going to hurt me. Island. Mm. Yeah, that's not great. Hmm, I'm thinking, by the way. So I can attack him if he blocks. Then I can... Can also, of course, drain the zombie master now. That's another option. He only has one card in hand. You know what? I'm going to go for the offensive. I'm going to go... I'm going to attack with the hippie because if his hand's empty, the hippie is not going to be any good anyway. Oh, he gets the life straight away. So can I do it for four? I think I can. One, two. Okay. Really taking my time. I don't want to make a mistake. I mean, I've made so many mistakes in this game. It's, it's ridiculous. Done. Choose a target. Please let this work. Hey, it dies. Okay, and I'm back up on 12. So hopefully he doesn't have like another flyer. Then I can start banging him with the Sengir Vampire. Okay. Island. Let's just attack with this one. Let's put my Mishra's factory here because I think I'm going to block with it next turn. Oh man, this is oh, this is this is tough. Um, change to assembly worker. Tap one. Done. Choose blockers. Block. Uh, block because this one's unblockable. Done. Regenerate. Okay, so now I should win this turn, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Go for it. Fingers crossed. Yep. Winning it. Oh, stop attacking me, dudes. Duel the Sedge Beast. Sure. The thing is, I want to attack some of the enemies to kind of get some credits and get some cards, but I don't want to play against these... Um, how do you call those? The 
servants that are sent by a wizard because then you don't get any anti-cards. So it's really annoying. Uh, let's see what I got. I got double island swamp. I've got two counter spells, control magic willows. I'm going to go with island and the next turn I can play second island, have counter magic up. So, you know, you would may, maybe your gut instinct is to go swamp willow, uh, but you want to have your counter magic up. So you start with island. Now I have double island, you know. Whatever he plays, they can counter it away. Let's counter it. Why not? Play Swamp. So now I can play Willow. Pass a turn. Yeah, sure, man. Kill it. Could have countered it, choosing not to. Um, hmm. Passing to turn. Maybe I need to start playing with Mana Volts in this deck. Do I have any Mana Volts? Wow, brutal, man. Another strip mine? Uh-oh, it's not looking great. At least finding some lands, but the thing with my deck, though, is like I need... I, I, I think feel like I need some Moxen or Mana Volts in this deck. Oh, wait, I could have... Why didn't I counter? Oh, I'm so I'm such a bad magic player. Why didn't I counter this? Oh man, he's got a lot of good spells. Um I'm gonna time walk. Another Tim, really? This game is tough. I should have countered the Urk Raiders and everything would have been fine. You're just still on 13. Uh, I'm just going to pass Counter Magic Open. Okay, on 11. I mean, he's got so much land. Yeah, I'm going to counter this. Okay, this is good. I can control Magic the Urk Raider. Good, I'm still alive. I'm on 11. Yeah, sure, kill it, man. I don't mind. As long as you're no longer dealing damage to me. So he's on 14, I'm on 11. I've got the Tim, I could start pinging, and I just need one more mana. Of course, a Blight, yeah, why not? Wow, this guy's killing everything. Um, I don't have double black. Oh, that sucks. I don't have double black to play out my Sengirs. That is not cool. Stone Rain, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's going to go for Time Walk. Okay, City of Brass, it's something. This, this guy is like, let's do, don't auto-tap this card. Um... Ooh, wow, this is cool. I can go Modi. Let's go Papa Modi, and then I can do Sengir next turn. Yep, let's tap for the Blight. Blight, by the way, got a lot better, because it used to say on the card... I mean, the card says destroy the land at the end of turn, but in current rules, the modern oracle is that it gets destroyed straight away. So as soon as it's tapped, you still do get the mana or the effect from it. Uh, from the land, but it is destroyed. Anyway, Cyclopean Mummy. I'm just going to attack for five. Let's swing in. Woohoo! I'm going to go Sengir. I mean, it's looking good right now, right? I can attack for nine next turn and win the game. I also have to try if he does something silly. Let's just attack first, see what happens. Hey, yes, take all the cards, take the cards. Is that a servant or not? You know what, maybe I can do a quest to defeat one of these creatures. Begin a quest. Take a black enchantment spell north to the Keeper of Gold Snap Temple. He'll reward you with a mana link and a black amulet. A uh, Gold Snap Temple. Oh yeah, I can do that. I mean, I love a mana link. Do I have any black? I do, I've got more than enough. 
Um, okay, let's buy some food. Gold snap is there. Let's buy some more food. We gotta go up. No, oh, it's really close. The mighty black wizard. Sure, such beast. I mean, I really want to get to this phase in a game where they uh, give you uh, tribute because they don't want to fight against you, but it looks like I'm not there yet. Uh, let's see what I've got. Timmy, Timmy, Hippie, Timmy, Ghost Ship, Two Swamps. Okay. Not great with the mana. I need to get some more Underground Seas. Okay, I could go... Shall I go Dark Ritual into Hippie here? You know what? Yes. I think with Hippie, you got to try to be as aggressive as you can. Because Hippie is so good at the early stages of the game. So having it a game out early, a turn out early, I mean, it's still huge. It's not as good as a turn one, but it's still like good enough, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to attack. Go for it. Nice. Um, you know what? I'm going to use my strip. Take care of his red land so he cannot bolt the Hippie out of the sky. Oh, that's so annoying, that Blight. Okay, there's a Royal. Royal really good against that, uh, that Urk Raider. Hey, you see, losing the Immolation. So Immolation is a great way to get rid of an Hypnotic Spectre. It's one of the cooler ways. It's also really nice to put it on your Urk Raider, by the way, because it becomes a 4-1. Oh no, I'm losing another land. Oh man, like all my eggs are in this Hypnotic Spectre basket, drawing my Lord of the Pit. Oh, that's not gonna help. It's so funny, like, my deck is full of big creatures because that's kind of the dream when you're, like, a little Tim. Those are the cards you want to play. So just attack it with the Hippie here, by the way, keeping you up to date what's happening. Um, I mean, that's all I can do, right? I mean, that Urk Raiders of his is doing work as well. Select a card to discard. Um, I'm so sorry, Lord of the Pit, but I don't think I can play you this turn, or this match, I mean. Uh, Island... Let's attack. If we can find another land, I can play out my Sayani Blast, win the game. Wow, am I really gonna win it with this one hippie? You know, magic can be so simple. Take the cards. What does he say? I cannot. Extra gold, okay. Duel this one, the Black Wizard. And I have to find to battle lots of creatures today. Uh, oh, I've got Contract from Below, Sephir, Time Walk, Mahamoti, Dark Ritual. Wow. I've got a really good hand. Like, I can go next turn, Sephir, Falcon. Um, you know, potentially have an early Modi out. I can take an extra turn. This is really good. If my hand kind of stops delivering, I can always do Contract from Below. Ooh, I want a Soul Ring. I so want to have a Soul Ring, people. So good, also with the Brain Geyser. Mm. What could I do here? Um, let's first attack. Okay, I think we're gonna take an extra turn. Okay, Swamp, it's not too shabby. Um, should I go Psionic Blast on the Urk Raider? I could, it's an, it's an Instant, so I can wait with that. Let's pause the detourney. Psionic Blaster. The thing is, I can wait and stuff and be like, you know, I don't want to waste. Ooh, look at this, my Psionic Blast on that. But your life totals are quite low in this game, super aggressive. So I think it's better to kind of play a little bit defensively. Okay, I can go Dark Ritual and go Papa Modi. I'm such, I'm such a fan of Dark Ritual. Like I've regained like a new, I knew the card was good, but it's so good in this game. And also of course, with all your time walks and your contract from belows, it's even better. Like it feels like a, it feels like a power card, the Dark Ritual. Um, Talking about power, I could go contract from below again. I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm a hand on board. I could counter magic open. Sure, I'll take the two from the owner let. I don't mind. Giant spider. Um, shall I counter? No, I'm not gonna counter it, it's fine. 
Whatever, man. I don't mind. Let's just attack. Ooh, he's on five. Shall I control magic the giant spider? No, I'm not gonna. I wonder if he's gonna attack with a spider. He is. Okay, so does it mean he's got something second main? Maybe a big hurricane. A fungusaur. Okay, you do know fungusaur doesn't fly, right? So it probably wasn't a good idea to attack with the giant spider. Um, I'm just gonna allow it. I mean, it flies. I don't mind. It's it doesn't fly. I mean, I don't mind. Um, let's attack. Winning the game on Papa Modi. That's how we roll. Modi style. Take the cards. Um. Well, let's see. Where are we at? You know, I'm just gonna go a little bit like towards these villages to see if I can kind of free them. Why not? Let's go. Duel. I'm gonna duel you. I don't want to lose this brain geyser, by the way. It was very nonchalant. Like, I'm gonna duel you. Then I'm just like, wait a minute, brain geyser anti? Cannot lose this. Let's see. Swamp, swamp, island, time walk, and a contract from below. And a Dark Ritual and a Papamodi. Okay, this is a really good hand. Uh, I'm gonna go Swamp first and then pass. So what I wanna do here, which is really good, I wanna do Contra from Below in combination with the Time Walk. So I'm gonna try to set that up. So I'm gonna go Island. I'm just gonna pass here. And next turn, I'm gonna do Contra from Below. I could actually also use my Dark Ritual. I guess that would be even better. Um, Let's see. Let's go Island. Let's go Dark Ritual. You know what? I'm going to wait with all this nonsense. Or should I do Time Walk now? Yeah, let's do Time Walk now. Ooh, I got the Timmy. It's tempting to play Tim out and then play Contra from below. Now let's go Tim. Okay, for some reason I have to attack. Sure, I don't mind. Um, gonna pass. I'm just gonna wait with the contract. There's no need. Another Tim. I like it. Uh, I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna kick him down with my little one ones. Why not? Okay, fungus sword. Fair enough. Let's play the contract. Ooh, I'm liking it. Uh, let's go swamp. Let's go time walk. Let's go Sephir Falcon. I mean, this deck is now kind of insane, isn't it? I'm just thinking about it. You've got four time walks in the deck. I mean, it's kind of silly. Um, let's go, we've got this here. Let's just attack, why not? I know I can ping with the Tims, but when I attack, I'm sure I don't forget. Um, let's pass, I've got counter magic up. I think, you know, it's time, I'm gonna beat uh, uh, some more guys, but then next, next time I'm gonna build a deck, build a new deck. Uh, let's go Swamp. Let's ping this dude. Timberwolves, I do like it. Like, I do like the Timberwolves. Um, Swamp. I also like what the Timberwolves, you know, stand for in terms of, of uh, gameplay and philosophy of the game in the early stages, right? It was like banding. You had Banalish Shiro, which is a common for one white. It's a 1-1 one, one bander. And then you have got the Timberwolves, which is a rare because... Banding is very rare in the color green. So I, I like that 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 thought. You know, a rare card should be something exceptional. You know, that's that's the word rare. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling about that ass. Uh, okay. Change. There we go. 
I feel like I'm kicking everybody's butt today in, in today's episode. Which feels good for a change. I'm gonna take the cards, of course. Let's go in the ship. You encounter a Saltram genie. Will you leave quietly or duel? Of course I'll duel. I can win underground C. This is funny. Look at the what's happened here with the Mahamoti. And the Alcor's tomb. Duel the creature. Play first. Start to duel. Oh, this is not good. Only one island? So the rest of the hand is good. Ghost Ship, Time Walk, Control Magic, Psionic Blast, Sangir Willow. That's good, but only one Time Walk. That is a little bit, or only one land, I mean. That is a bit concerning. Of course, and you've got a Birds of Paradise. I'm so jealous of that Birds. I really need to get some Mox in and get like Sol Ring. Oh, this is not good. I got a discard. Um... What to discard? You know what? I'm going to discard the Willow. This might be odd because it's only one black to cast, but... Oh, man. This hand is getting more painful by the minute. Oh, what to discard here. The problem is that Ritual is really nice. So I know if, as soon as I have a black, I mean, a lot of options open. Man, this is tough. Um, Sengir? I'm gonna go Ghost Ship. It's not an easy decision. Like the whole hand's really, really good, but it is magic, right? If you don't have the land to cast it. Oh, of course, play a Tim. Play a Tim, you play a Tim. Um, time Walk? I'm gonna do Time Walk, hoping to find another land. Okay, that's good. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, I go, can go Psionic Blast on the Tim. No Dark Ritual, Sengir, of course. Okay, Dark Ritual, Sengir. There we go. No, dude. Why? Why? He had the mom, he had the family, why? Uh, ooh, I'm really tempted to go Psionic Blast, Timmy. Uh, I can do that on his end step, though. Let's pass turn. Of course, you kill me, do that. Ping me one. You know what you're pinging, dude. Okay, discard face. Let's go say on your blast. Um, Tim. Uh, oh, okay, drain life. Um, let's go with my own Tim. Because then if you place another Tim, I can ping the Tim. And I'm going to ping the Birds of Paradise. Hopefully my Protocol Sorcerer gets to stick on the board. Please? Ooh, direct damage is overrated, dude. Don't play it. Blue mana, tortoise. Okay. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Or shall I control magic? I'm going to control magic the bird. You know, it may sound odd, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm low on mana. My deck's pretty mana hungry. I'm um, stealing the bird. Oh, I'm loving this combo. Eternal War Warrior Giant Tortoise? That is so cool. That's a forgotten combo. Oh, that is so cool. This is, this is what I love about this game, is that the opponents still come up with combos that I haven't thought of. Probably because they're really mediocre, but still, I mean, I love these. These are really kitchen table combos, you know, Eternal Warrior Giant Tortoise. I mean, you're the man, you know. I'm still going to try to win against you, but this combo makes you the man. You're the man, man. Um, What to play out? I guess Hypnotic Spectre. My birds are so good. Let's go Sephir. And then let's try to remember to ping him for one on end step. Probably going to swing in. Oh, he's not even going to attack. Okay. Mm, oh yeah, this is really good because now I can use Hippie twice with the time walk. So let's do time walk. Let's attack. Let's ping him for one. Attack again. I mean, time walk in a deck with Hypnotic Spectres is so good. 
Um, play another hippie. I think that Birds of Paradise is really good. I'm happy I stole it. Let's see, he's on eight. Can I already kill him? I don't think so. I can deal five points and put him on three, ping him, put him on two. And I can drain him, put him on one. So no, it's not gonna work yet. So I gotta be patient. I feel so bad. I mean, look at all the good cards he's losing. He's really not finding any, any blue mana and I stole his bird, so. I'm sorry, man, because I'm really liking your deck. Eternal Warrior, Giant Tortoise. Now that is that is the stuff of legends. Um, you know what? I am gonna block, which may sound odd, but I just want to make sure that I don't lose. And maybe you've got some weird like Giant Grove Bananas Berserk plan going. Who knows? Crimson Manticore. Ooh, interesting. Another cool card. Okay, let's just ping him. Hey, yes, please. Give me the cards. Uh, let's take this. I'm winning a lot of cards today. What if I won? There's nothing on the screen. I hear the sound effect. No idea. Sure, I'll duel the mind stealer. Whatever. Play first. Um, let's see what I have. Contract from below, Mistress Factory, Timmy Island, Royal Assassin, City of Brass, any ritual, okay. I could go ritual royal. I mean, why not? Why not? If you can, you know, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. I mean, I've got the contract anyway, so I wanna empty my hand as quickly as I can, I guess. Uh, let's go factory. Let's attack him for one. Baz is a turn. Mind Stealer Simbat. That's a good card. I like Simbat. Uh, ooh, talking about good cards, Time Walk. Um, you know what? I'm going to go Tim. And I'm going to try to kill him next turn. The Simbat, that is. And now I've got again that, 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 that combination time walk contract from below, uh, which is just insane. Ooh, this is good. Oh, but I've got, of course, my... I've got my good friend. Let's kill, kill the Simbat before I forget. Got my good friend, a royal assassin. Uh, go Swamp. Shall we go time walk contract from below? Why not? We'll just do it. We will do it. Ooh, Dark Ritual. Is there something we can do with the Dark Ritual? Not really. Okay, so let's just pass the turn. Take my extra turn. Um, I mean, it can drain life in, but you know what? I'm just going to cast Sengir. Cast Sengir, pass into turn, next turn attack with Sengir. I also have Brain Geyser with Drain Life. Oh, this is good. Mind Twist, you dirty dog. Dirty dog. Oh. Mind Twist. Oh, man, a dead card. Dead card. Mind Twist. They say, they say, and I used to be the same one. They used to say it's the poor man's power card, Mind Twist. And yes, that is true. But hear me out. The card gets so sick when people have a fully powered deck and play with Mind Twist. It's so sick. Um, And it's not fun, but it's really sick if you, yeah. Anyway, let's not get there. Um, Go there, I should say. Uh, Sengir, let's attack with it. Why not? Play another Tim. Play a Zephyr. And uh, 
fast turn. I think I, should, I need to start attacking with the factories as well, by the way. Too, too hippie. Dude, that's not cool. I already have a Sengir. Mm. Okay, this is the plan. I'm going to attack with the Sengir. Hopefully he blocks. If he does, I'm going to play Time Walk, win the game. Hey, right? Because I feel like... Well, can I do enough damage? Am I being too optimistic? Let's see. Change to assembly worker. Done. No, I can't. Oh, but maybe I can change to assembly worker. Let's do island. Yeah, because I can deal six and then ping him. You know what I'm going to do? Just to give that, that team feeling. It's, it's, it's like, you know, you do something as a team. I'm all going to attack with all these creatures instead of pinging. I think this is eight. Hey, there we go. Take the cards. Begin a quest. Defeat the conjurer. Sure. I mean, I've been playing against all these bozos the whole day. Where's the conjurer? Is this a conjurer? What is a conjurer? It's a mind stealer. Pay 80 gold. I want the conjurer. This is a conjurer, right? Oh, I want the conjurer, dudes. Let's pay 70 gold. The next one I am going to duel, though. There's the conjurer. Come here, you conjurer. Doesn't want to play against me anymore. Conjurer, come here. I conjurer. Oh, there's another conjurer. Can we please? It's a warlock. Okay, it's not a conjurer. Accept tribute to Wad Jewels. Sure. This is a vampire lord. That's a beast dude. Is this a conjurer? You're a conjurer, right? Hey! No, no, no. I got to play against you. Exactly. Hey, but I'm finally getting mercy from these guys. Mercy money. That's a good sign. I have to say my deck's kind of sick. I think I'm gonna... Oh, I, I just played out of land without even thinking what I had. Dark Ritual, Time Walk, Factory, Lord, Time Walk, Swan. I mean, four Time Walks, two Contact from Below, that's a bit sick. So I think... I think next episode I'm gonna build a new deck. I'm gonna try out something else. Uh, let's go Factory... Let's play one of my three Time Walks. I mean, look at this hand. This is ridiculous. Time walk extravaganza. Um, let's go swamp. Dark ritual into what? Into nothing. Um, I'm just gonna attack for one, for two. Whatever. Just gonna attack for two. And pass the turn to the conjurer. Poor conjurer. He doesn't even want to fight me. He's like, I can give you mercy. I can give you money. I'm like, no, I got to fight you for this village. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. They really don't like you. And they hired me to kick your ass. <laughs> I apologize, my man. So got to do what I got to do. Oh, that was a counter spell. Oh, oh, that was good. Did you see that? It went so fast. <laughs> Countering all my hopes away. Counter spell. Counter spell. Okay, let's have a look. A wall of water. That is pretty cool. Wall of water, man. That is that is impressive tech. Uh, let's go Sephir Falcon. Time walk so I can attack straight away with the Sephir. Go island. Attack Sephir. What I want to do in this game is cast at Lord of the Pit. Okay, that is going to be my goal here. Ooh, Apprentice Wizard. I love the Apprentice Wizard. Um, swamp, well, a Swamp, I mean. Hmm, still don't have enough lands. What's the casting cost of Lord of the Pit? Seven, right? Oh, I need another black mana. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six lands. So if I can just find another Swamp, that would be so awesome. Find another Swamp, get the Pit on the board. Take it from there. 
Uh oh. Oh, funny. He's playing a prize wizard. Um, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm g I am going to play the trike. But I really want to play out the Lord. Lord of the Pits. Steel artifact, dude. Uh, one. One. And now watch this. He's going to target himself. Hey, there you go. Steel artifact gone. Oh, I can finally play Lord of the Pits. Yeah, let's go, dude. Lord of the Pits. Oh, this is so cool. This is so nice. Uh, attack with the Sephir. I can kill him next turn with the Lord of the Pits. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Of course, Wall of Air, my man. Okay, make it make it difficult. Make it difficult. I'm fine. I don't mind. Um, select creature to sacrifice. Let's attack. Let's play Time Walk. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it into a creature. Feed it to the Lord. I don't know if you like factory workers, dear sir. Select a creature to sex. Sure. Some factory workers for you. Oh, this is great. Control magic is so cool with Lord of the Pit, right? Like, you you can just have a control magic Lord of the Pit deck. It's so funny. You just steal the creatures of your opponent. Feed them to the pit. Another really cool thing to do is Preacher with Lord of the Pit. I think it's also in Forgotten Combos. Sweet. If you can pull that off, you the man. Okay. Take the cards and run. I'm gonna... I gotta save... Let's see, where's that village that I have to return to? Was it Sephir Haven? Uh, Black Mana Stone, you turn to Blood Sand Village. What a nice name. Where do you live? Oh, the Blood Sand Village? It's, it's quite nice. It's picturesque. Dude, it's called Blood Sand Village. Um, you know what? I'm gonna save for now because I think we've been playing for like an hour. Um, yeah, it's been a really good run. Like I said, I think maybe my deck is getting like too good to the point that it's not challenging anymore. So maybe I'm going to take out some time walks or maybe I should continue with this deck. Maybe I should try to make my Bizarre back that reanimator deck. That would be quite cool. Do I already have... I just need another reanimate, another animate dead, I feel. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to think about that because maybe maybe this deck is not just so sick that maybe I just need to make another deck uh, to keep things interesting. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, it was a really good run. Thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. Before you go, please take a moment to leave a like, share it on your socials, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you also play Chandel Chandelar. If so, what kind of decks uh, you play. would love to hear from you. And for now, thank you very much for watching. And let's go um, to the end scroll. Cool, cool, cool. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.